When Bing Crosby or Michael Bublé sings, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, they're re referencing the decorations. When it looks like Christmas, sounds like Christmas, and smells like Christmas, we have the option of joining the festivities or holding out and going the way of Scrooge. But here's the deal. The Christmas spirit started with someone else before it ever came to you. It began with God bringing the first Noel to humanity. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob had been a shelter and a strong tower for his people. He had cared for them like a nurturing mother and a wise father. And at long last, he came. The living God invaded creation and brought light to a dark world. This was put into motion out of God's love for us. John 3.17 says, God did not send his son into the world to condemn it, but to save the world through him. Jesus, our good shepherd, was also the lamb for slaughter. Our mighty God came to live among us and then give his life as a ransom for those who rejected him. So what does this mean for you and me? God loved us first. When we sing glory to the newborn king, it's because he started the Christmas celebration. Now, you have the option of joining the festivities or holding out. You can receive his love and become who he's calling you to be, or you can ignore his invitation and reject his love. One thing you can't do, you can't change the season. Christmas has come. It's a new horizon. Love is here.